A new study shows that a higher minimum wage doesn't necessarily mean lower poverty levels. Hey everybody, I'm Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. A new study from a, quote, prominent researcher, according to the Washington Examiner, finds that the higher a higher minimum wage uh, does not necessarily mean uh, that poverty in neighborhoods goes away, a finding that could shake up the debate over the federal wage floor and uh, slow the liberal push for a $15 an hour minimum wage. The study led by University of California, Irvine, economist David Newmark and published by the business-backed Employment Policies Institute finds that over the course of decades, higher minimum wages do not reduce poverty in disadvantaged neighborhoods. Rather, the, anal uh, the analysis finds a $1 increase in the minimum wage rises poverty rates and government dependency by about 3%. The report also finds evidence that cash welfare fails to lower poverty as well. Quote, the clear evidence here is that the minimum wage doesn't deliver long-run gains and welfare doesn't deliver long-run gains either, New Mark says. Now, he says that uh, he's not looking to put an end to the debate, that he wants to open up new lines of research. But let's kind of just take a look at this. Because the traditional way of thinking is that if you uh, raise the minimum wage, that people can get out of poverty. That would be true in, I guess, a perfect world. But let's not forget that when you raise the minimum wage, a few things happen. One, the price of goods and services increases because businesses need to make money. Uh, number two, uh, you have uh, you have uh, uh, businesses that decide to replace employees with iPads, uh, as we are seeing at different McDonald's locations and other fast food locations, uh, touch screens come into play because uh, in the long run they become cheaper, thus putting people out of work. And so when you have, like, let, let's take the state of California, which has a very high minimum wage, uh, you would think that uh, they wouldn't uh, have any poverty at all. But they do because the price of everything has skyrocketed. Uh, you look at places uh, that have increased the minimum wage uh, and even the minimum wages for uh, wait staff, prices go up. So it doesn't mean that you're saving or making any more money because you're having to put money back out. Let's also take another look at this. Uh, many of those, not everyone, but many of those who are at or near the poverty level don't necessarily always know how to manage money. And just because you get more money doesn't mean you know how to manage the money that you get. Uh, th th this, you know, you know, raising the minimum wage doesn't solve the problem. Uh, it comes down to money management. It comes down to education. And yes, in some circumstances, it comes down to a little bit of luck as well. Uh, so a higher minimum wage does not mean that you're going to get out of poverty. Uh, listen, there are people who make a lot of money who still find themselves in poverty because of bad decisions that they make. And also, uh, if you look out in states that have a high minimum wage and states that, uh, that pay workers uh, quite a bit, well, the cost of everything, including a cheeseburger, skyrockets. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.